What is up fellow game developers, my name is Tyler Potts and welcome back to Muddy Wolf Studios. In this video we're going to be creating a smooth 2D camera follow script. This also could work for 3D if you're using a third person perspective. I don't know what use case it would, but you can use it for 3D too. It works in all scenarios. Um, so we're going to be creating this smooth camera follow script, which we're going to be using clamping. We're going to clamp the camera to star at zero, so the ball, the camera won't snap straight to this ball I've created. Um, so it will stay here. The ball will then roll down this hill, and then once it gets past the camera, it will then start following it smoothly, just slightly lagging behind it. Uh, not literally lagging. It will be very smooth. The whole point of this video is for a smooth camera. Um, and then it'll hit the wall, bounce up, and the camera will finally just catch up to it. It'll only be slightly behind, and it will look like a nice smooth camera follow. So let's get started. So first thing we need to do is go onto the camera, and there's only one script we need for this, and it's going to be called the camera follow script. So we're going to create and add this, and then we're going to double click it to open it up. There we go. I'm just going to delete this in here. And then I'm going to write in here a couple of um, variables. The first one being public transform and we'll call this target so this is going to follow a our target which we set we can set it's the ball we can say if there was enough of player running around we can target whatever we want we can actually swap this as well if we had multiple game objects which is pretty cool the next uh variable we're going to be doing is the public it's going to be a float and it's going to be called a follow speed so this is going to be the speed of the uh follow so how fast the camera moves to catch up to the book um, the dampening essentially um, which is going to be called to 10f to start with we're going to be putting out all our code into one method called fixed update fixed update runs on a fixed um, number of frames so it doesn't matter how fast your computer is or how slow your computer is the frames will always be the same or it will always run the same amount of time if that makes sense so we're going to create something called void fixed update I hate when it just auto does things because I don't like auto doing things. <laughs> and we're going to start off by the most simplest way of creating this follow script. So we're just going to say transform dot position is equal to target dot position. We also need to set up an offset, sorry. So we need to say public uh, vector free. Um, and it's going to be called uh, camera offset. There we go. So we need to actually offset straight away because if we don't offset, the camera will snap straight to this and you won't see anything because it'll be, it'll be on the opposite side of the ball. So let's click on the main camera and first drag in our ball from our scene. So I'm going to drop him in straight there and then the camera offsets, so we're going to set Y of 2 and the C is equal to minus 10, what it currently is, else it will be inside the ball and you won't be able to see anything but a blue background. Um, and the follow speed again, we'll leave it at 10 for now. So now if we hit play, it's going to snap straight into it. See, I forgot to do something in the code and this is what happens if you don't add the offset. So if we go back, we need, now need to add the offset to the target position. So say camera offset. And that's, that's just going to basically apply the offset we've done. Uh, we can remove these using tags too because they're just annoying. Okay, let's press play and see what happens. So now it snaps directly to the ball with the offset on, so it's two above, so the center is just here. Um, and we're following the ball all the way along until we hit the wall. Again, there's no there's no smoothing there, it's not smooth at all, it's snappy, it snaps straight to the ball, and that's not what we want. So let's set up the rest of this script now. So there is two parts to this. Uh, we need to set up a couple more variables, one being the min position we want our um our camera to sit, so the furthest back, which we're going to send x min equal to 0f. Now, 0f, obviously, it means we're starting from position 0, wrong way. Um, so you can see the camera is currently set on position x. So this this is the minimum it can go back. It can't go any further back this way uh, because then it will be going wrong. So it won't snap this way to the player or the ball. We then need a, enough effect of free. So we just need a um, vector free called velocity, and this is going to oh, velocity, and it's going to be equal to uh, vector free dot zero. The reason for this is because 
Um, we're going to be using something called Vector3.Smooth Damp, and it requires a reference to the velocity, which we're going to be setting to zero. Um, which, yeah, as you can read there, it's a shorthand for writing Vector3, zero, zero, zero. Um, so that is fine. We So we have a follow speed, the X min, velocity, camera offset, and target. I think that's all the variables we need. Um, so let's crack on with the script. So in the fixed update, let's actually change this to be equal to a new vector three. Um, and this is gonna be called target position. We then need enough of vector three, which is gonna be equal to clamped position, um, which we're gonna to set to a new vector three, not vector three, a vector three. And um, we're gonna use something called mathf dot clamp and we're going to pass through the float so the, the actual targets position so we're going to say target dot position x because this is the one we want to clamp we're going to give it the min which is the x min but it's asking for a max and we don't actually want to give it a max because we want the camera to follow it forever past this point so we're actually going to do something called um float dot max there it is max value which will give us the maximum value it can have and then for the other two bits, the Y and the Z, we're just going to say uh, target position dot Y and target position, position dot Z. And that is the clamped position set up. We now need vector three. Um, and this one's going to be called smooth position, um, which is obviously going to be the smoothed position. So we're going to use the vector... So as I said before, we're going to use vector three dot smooth damp. And this takes obviously the current position, which is going to be transform dot position, which is going to be our camera's position, and then the target. So we're going to say tran or not transform. We're actually going to pass through the clamped position, because that is where we want to go to, but we don't we obviously want it to be clamped. And then this way we pass through the reference called philosophy. Oh, velocity which we set up earlier and then this the next bit is the smooth time so this is the dampening speed so how long um the cam or the speed of the camera to keep up with the um the position we're trying to get to so we're going to pass here our follow speed we're actually going to times this by time dot fixed delta time um, and all this does is basically make sure it's consistent throughout the whole uh, throughout the whole, doesn't matter what, how fast your machine is or anything like that, it'll be consistent throughout the whole thing, if that makes sense. We, it's saying there's an error with this. Argument three must be passed the ref. Oh, that's a good point. That should have the ref. So now all we need to do is say transform dot position is equal to smooth position. Now, if we head back over to the play window, wait for it to load everything we've just changed and hit play. You'll see the camera stays where it is. It or except from it goes up, but it won't go until we, the ball goes past it and then it will start following it slightly behind, but once it hits the wall, it catches up and it lands exactly with the ball, which is perfect. That's exactly what we want. So let's view that one more time. Just watching that again, the camera stays still or on the y-axis of course, it'll follow it through, it'll go to the end It'll hit the wall, bounce up, and the camera will then catch up to the ball, which is exactly how the smooth camera should be. There's no jittering, there's nothing like that. It all just follows the ball perfectly, which is amazing. Now, it's exactly what we want. And that is the end of this video. So, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, then hit that subscribe button, because I'm going to be uploading off more often now. And once again, if you want to be the first person on the scene, then don't forget to hit that bell notification icon so you know as soon as a new video goes live. Thank you guys for watching this video and keep muddy.